Hello everyone, I am Seto Kuslaksono from Information System Department of Bina Inusantara University Online Learning. As a representative for, of our team, I would like to present our research study with the title Analysis of Fleet Management System Network Infrastructure in Open Mining PT Saptaindra Sejati Adaro Indonesia Job Site. Before we start, I would like to introduce our team members. We have Dr. Dina Fitriya Murad as our research advisor. Then we have Mr. Robianto and myself, Seto Kuslaksono. PT Sapta Indra Sejati, as a company engaged in mining contract that implements the fleet management system in linking process and data to support mine management. Users of the fleet management system feel that the coverage of the network on the system is not broad enough. The performance of the fleet management system due to the network coverage and the capacity of the data storage generates no communication and display freeze notification on the system. When a display freeze occurs, the production or trip data will be lost. The network infrastructure must have a high level of connectivity, compatibility, and ease of use. This research was conducted to study the network infrastructure requirements used by the fleet management system at PT Sapta Indra Sejati. To the epilogue, the main objective of the study is assess the conditions of the network infrastructure used by the fleet management system. Identify the weakness of the network infrastructure in the fleet management system. Providing some suggestions to improve network infrastructure design used by the fleet management system. We've gone through a few literature reviews. Some of them are Zhu et al. in 2020 says enterprise architecture is a special field developed in, on the basis of the practice of information system architecture design and implementation. The TOGAP standard, a standard of the open group, is a proven enterprise architecture methodology and framework used by the world's leading organizations to improve business efficiency. Ashilas et al. in 2019 says, fleet management system is a modern system for the technology solutions in managing unit vehicle for automation and optimization of business process and for connecting all business sectors such as shipping, communication, and navigation in one system. In this study, the methodology used is the method of data collection and analysis method. Data collection methods include literature review, interview, and observation. The method used to analyze the survey result is the TOGAF framework method. Now, for the summary of findings, here's what we found from our study. To monitor and control mining production activities, PT Sapta Indra Sejati has implemented fleet management system since 2010. By implementing one of several modules, namely operation, using hexagon mine operate and enterprise using hexagon mine enterprise. To monitor the units in the field, tools commonly named Mojo and Jigsaw 360 have been installed. In this figure, you're looking the infrastructure architecture of the fleet management system implementation. Still on the summary of findings, Communication between the primary server and equipment is real-time, with data replication process occurring every 10 seconds and cannot tolerate network downtime. The primary server functions as the main server that directly communicates with the production unit in the mining area where the fleet management system has been installed. Backup server functions as a backup when the primary server is down. Reporting server serves as a provider of reports to the dispatcher or management of PT Saptaindra. 
Poor network coverage causes no communication problems which result in display freeze on the fleet management system. This is still considered to be less effective and efficient, so it is necessary to develop system and business process. If there is a freeze, the production or trip data will be lost. The deviation between the actual data and the jigsaw data is between 9.61% to 17.12%. There is nine phases in TOGAF implementation. 1. Preliminary phase 2. Architecture vision 3. Business architecture 4. Information system architecture 5. Technology architecture 6. Opportunities and solution 7. Migration planning 8. Implementation governance 9. Change management in this study, PT Sapta Indra Sejati only implements three phases, the preliminary phase, architecture vision, and technology architecture. In the preliminary phase, the scope of the organization that is the object of research is coal production activities in the mining area, especially in the fleet management system. The architecture vision phase consists of the integration of information technology in enterprise information system. The technology architecture phase includes network overview analysis as shown in the following figures. The first figure shows the frequency of the jigsaw module problems on a monthly basis. This figure shows the trend of the trip in the SOM area in 2018. Still in the technology architecture phase, in regards to the network improvements, some action has been taken on physical network topology. The first action is to replace all unmanaged switches used in indoor and outdoor location using a Cisco catalyst. The second one is to divide the networks into several virtual local area networks. This figure shows the virtual local area network topology. This table shows the numbers of portable network devices needed in Tutupan and Wara area. This table shows the number of portable towers needed to improve the network in the other areas. From this study, we learned that TOGAF architecture development method offers a method that can be adapted by PT Sapta Indra Sejati, specifically on technology architecture. This is what distinguishes it from the other enterprise architecture frameworks, such as the Zapman frameworks. One of the advantages of using the TOGAF architecture development method is that it is flexible to adapt and is open source. The result of the study indicate that the architectural planning of the fleet management system network infrastructure can be accepted by PT Sapta Indra Sejati and can be considered by all stakeholders to be implemented. That will be all from our presentation. Thank you for watching.